Good morning. Good morning. So I just want to say how much joy I feel in being in love with life. I'm talking about life as a whole, the whole picture, the whole phantasm of living, you know, from now through all the annals of time. Of course, all the violence catches your eye, you know, uh, samsara, the term samsara supposedly means movement that catches your eye. There was a, 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 supposedly an, an old uh, Chinese curse that said, may you live in interesting times. Well, we are certainly in that. But I want to express the possibility of being in love, in love with life, and most importantly, in love with yourself, a romance of being you. I would like to express the possibility of something that I would like to bring all into one statement. Wake up and live. Wake up and live. Wake up and live. You might want to listen to that song by Bob Marley. It's a great song, Wake Up and Live. I see so many people who I don't really feel are alive. You know, not that their heart isn't beating and their bodies aren't moving, but they're so caught up in a preconceived relationship that they never actually have a direct experience with life. They never see the, the movement of the leaves or the clouds or look at the sun because they're always consumed with the, the, the building of, of antagonism. So wake up and live. Wake up. Wake up and live. Let go of being a robot. We are all in that at times. Wake up and live. The great teacher Gurdjieff said that that is the great challenge of being human, that we are being gradually being pulled into becoming a robot. This is what society would have us do. You know, this whole element of tribalism to me is robotic. So let's live today. Let's get enthusiastic. Let's make a difference. Wake up and live. Thank you so much. Ah, I forgot to ring the bell. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Here we go. I'm going to bring my hands in prayer position because I know you're alive. Namaste. Have a wonderful day.